So this is the second round of the T90 Titans League. Uh, we're playing Jordan. We're going to let Jordan win since last one. I will not let him win. Jordan is plenty of good enough to beat me on his own. Or do I even want to ban? Let's ban Gold Rush since we just played that. What well, kind of? That was Golden Pit, but whatever. I don't even I don't even know what home map I want to pick. I'm not sure if I'm in the right place to play like these super messy games. So let's go Jungle Swamp. <laughs> See what map he decides in the end. So it's going to be Fortified Clearing. I feel like I have to pick Mongols. This is such a tricky map to draft. It's insane, actually. I like to draft for three maps, five civs. But the drafting is so hard right now because you have 42 civilizations. You ban two of them. So there's 40 civilizations you have to pick between for three maps. It's really difficult. There's so much potential for mind games and like cross picking and weird stuff. Fortify Clearing is the first game. It's already where the mind games begin. Because I'm not sure if I want to use Burgundians there or not. I picked Aztecs as well now, which means I could use Aztecs for Arabia. Like Mong Jungle Swamp will be Mongols no matter what. But Arabia, I could use Aztecs there. Or Britons. If I use Britons on Arabia, I could use Turks or Burgundians for Fortify Clearing. Otherwise, I have Aztecs on Arabia and just use Britons even for Fortify Clearing. His fortified clearing map is probably Poles or Byzantines. I think I might mix it up. I might go Britons here. All right. I think I got rid of chat. There's Poles indeed. Um, fix the scoreboard. Round two. It's not necessarily round two. It's group stage. A bit different, but yeah. The weird part. Suddenly no chat. After I've been looking for chat a uh, chat all day. I'm not sure exactly how I wanna approach this yet though. They're not there on this map. Oh no, there are. Ready. Outside isn't that easy to wall. Why don't we play Feudal Age on this map? Is it that ludicrous? Do that. I'm thinking about going Feudal Age. Obviously risky. I think I'm actually going to do a Drush. We'll try. Uh, I just realized my boar was there. Oh, it's a bit of a messy eco right now. Yeah, my boar was on this side. It means that I can't really pull that off. Yay, hunter. Ready, Bolden. Bolden. Yay, A little bit awkward, but Yay, not the end of the world. Mm 
meinem Datenschirm. Yeah, my eco management so far has not been the prettiest. But it's okay. Hopefully. What a messy eco. There's a full work. Don't want to get walled. That could be his main gold. Probably is his main gold, actually. Ready, Make sure he doesn't wall it off. He does see it now, though. They ran past his house. Oh, the TC is super close. Which I should have expected. Yeah, we're, it's, it's definitely improvisation, my approach here. Um, it's gonna be vulnerabilities here. We'll have weaknesses for sure. At the moment, it looks like he doesn't want to go loom. Which makes sense if he's, especially if he's fast casting. Oh, I'm sending this one without loom. Okay, he's keeping a scout at home. Need a scout to not scout this. That makes sense. It's a big chance he's just gonna use the goal in the middle, even. He's doing a market. I hate how they regroup. Yes. 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 I have to be honest. You're gonna tower that? And trust them. Let's see where this goes. Don't really know what to expect right now from this game. We're probably gonna make skirms. Mandatum. Yay, Quillen. 
Yes, Oh, that's a bit awkward, isn't it? I'm not fletching. I need the spear to come fast. I think that's still open. Yeah, it is. He could just add some skirms, to be fair. Let's do that. He really wants to wall that as well, which makes sense. I want another archer. His villagers do regenerate. Which is a bit annoying for me. We are causing problems. He doesn't have such shame. I feel this pressure has kind of worked out. Like I would have liked it to. Still doesn't have fletching. Maybe I can even get these guys to crossbows. He has to make even more scouts. Yeah, now we're getting really good value from this. <laughs> yeah, we're never getting that one. I want to be able to pick up relics. So I don't want to wall this completely. Could have maybe even done a castle drop as a follow up. That would have been pro possibly quite deadly. Oh, there are no relics on the outside, are there? Wait, are there relics on the outside? Aren't relics on the outside? Let's stop it by him. Losing that. 
Sano Argo. Ready. Ball, ball them. Yay. Ball them. Ball them. Man down. Ball them. Yay. Ball them. Oh, my 30s was not in my control group. That's not too pretty. No. Okay, there are relics on the outside. Okay, uh, next step, next step. I think we want a fourth town center. We just picked up a relic there. And I believe he got away with it. Why are these houses building so slow? They should still be ours. Hold 
Let's see if this does anything. I'm not sure how many relics there are on this map in total. Oh, Jordy. That's, uh, I'm not sure what that castle is. It's a weird castle. Very weird. Jordy, man. GG. Alright, uh, messy game, but I think in the end, I think it's kind of played out how we would have liked them to. Sneaking those bad boys, like doing this move as well, making those crossbows, I think was very good. Yeah, I think as well with the middle control now, it would be hard for him to come back. I'm not sure. I assume he's on the way to imp as well, but we obviously have a, we have a way better eco. That forward stuff did way more. Like, this was a YOLO approach, right? Uh, but I think it accomplished exactly kind of what I was would be hoping for. Uh, next map will be Arabia. Arabia. So now this thing is he has mines and the issue now is that he has mines and Chinese. I'm not sure what he's thinking for Jungle Swamp. If he's planning to do like Maggars there to go scouts or if he's planning to do like Chinese. Which means he might use Mayans on Arabia. Or the other way around where he uses Chinese on Arabia and Mayans on that map. I pretty much have a decision now between Burgundians and Aztecs on Arabia. Let's do Aztecs. Chinese. Okay, so Mayans will be for the other one. Okay, I'm happy that I picked Aztecs here. I want to try and lame some sheep because he is Chinese. Any laming done to Chinese is always very good. Chinese are one of the sieves that rely on that early food. Don't think I would take a boar, but I wouldn't mind taking some sheep. Is he already pushing deer? Looked like it. It's a thick forest forward. I think I'm not gonna have that much success in terms of finding sheep. I believe he's pushing the air. I'm not sure if I like this woodland or not. It's obviously a nice big natural wall. But at the same time, it also kind of potentially slows down aggression that I would want to have. Oh, 
Not finding any of my shit. Never mind that. So if he hasn't stolen from me, which I don't think he has, they should be there. Yet. We can go push some. I'm not a big fan of this forest, actually. It, it really, I feel like it's really shutting off my military production. Like that, I would like to build forward. Don't like it. My plan is just my arms opening into kind of adapt. My arms into arches probably. Oof. Didn't realize his TC was there. Put the barrack. There's a hill there that we can use though. To help defend this. What is doing in arms himself? I think all in all that's still an okay trade. Don't want him to see the skirmisher coming out now. Hope he didn't see that. Nice, I'm busy. Apparently our luggage arrived. That's pretty pog. I guess I won't be able to do any damage there. Oh, 
If I can rush Fletching now, we might have potential for at least applying some continuous continued pressure. You don't have Fletching now. Looking at those numbers, I think that maybe his first archers. I think I can just put my gather point forward. He has fletching himself. I do have some skirms in the mix though. For now. Let's stop producing archers. I think he might be op open there actually. Going for big ass walls. I hope that forced his archers back. I believe, oh yeah, the scouts even. Just want to trade as many archers as possible here. That's what we care about. So what? Yes. Sorry about that. Not ideal. Need four food. I'm going to leave that gap there. Okay, should be no wall issue. Oh, he survived. Oh. 
Sloppy by him to lose the villager there. Obviously not complaining. I don't think I'm gonna get any fights at the moment, which is why I'm not prioritizing too much military. I think he will not let me find his archers. Curious if he will try to be aggressive with his archers. Oh, he's missing up there. Tisa now, so we know that his eco also isn't amazing. He has late town centers, or well, somewhat late town centers. We have to make knights as well, which is good for us. Score is inflated by his scouting. I'm not too worried about score either. Low is Chinese, so That is pretty awesome. I may say so myself. I need to find a way to break or get to another gold. It's currently taking all the relics. Okay. Cool. Jay. Oh, I'm 
Isn't this open? No, it's not. He is going aggressive, actually. I have to say, I did not expect that one. Big issue for us right now? Well, I say big issue. One of our problems right now is he's got all the relics. A lot of them. Finally! Fight from you. I don't know why I'm out there. Can he do that? Yes, he can. Not pretty. Oh, 
He's not committing. I'm sure that's a good fight for him. Now he's committing on this. His turn to get raided at least. Trying to switch to long swords. I also don't know if I think that's the right play. It's a good fight. Thank God for eagles being so cheap. He has castle age uh, knights in many ways, so I think I can still take the fights here. Cavalier, I could mix in pikemen now. No matter what, it's he's being raided at the same time. So it's making a more expensive unit and being raided at the same time. That's always has to be good for me. I will get that hill, so I get to control over those resources. Still raiding him in his eco. Yeah, Oof. that was a tough one. Played very good here. I guess it was the right decision by him to pressure. Again, this bloodline, I think it somewhat works against us. It would be easier to defend even if there's a gap there. Considering my extra golds were exposed on his sides, I do like what he did. Maybe if he gets like a castle drop here, 
and puts mangonel knight pressure on this side. He didn't ever do enough damage to the point where we were not able to get to Imperial Age Eagles. 5k more gold. We had more villages. We probably had an equal lead as well for the longest time. Yeah, we had a big eco lead. Good stuff. Last game will be jungle. Why didn't you use pikemen sooner? They have less utility for me there and then. Pikemen is only when you're forcing fights. As in, if I'm defending a trebuchet that he has to dive on, then pikemen make more sense. But eagles have more potential uh, offensively for me. So I, I personally felt like eagles made more sense. So we did go maggers here. Wait, did this map have boars? Oh, that's something I really wish I confirmed. I feel like it doesn't have... Oh, it does have boars. I think it's very unlikely that any of us goes for the water. So he's pushing the air. We know that for sure. The score is not increasing enough. Probably like 17, maybe 18 pop. Without an issue here. Do I think if I go 17, I'm pushing it too much that I'm not sure if I can. Oh shit. Yeah, I'm not sure if I could have afforded all my stuff then. That's careless. Don't always, through my whole time of knowing him, he struggled to type and play at the same time. 
Ah, oh, that sucks. I have no scouting until now. He keeps pushing deer. We know that. That's everything we know, or the only thing we know. Other. I hate losing my starting scout. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I should have already had a scout be active and annoying over there. Now I have to build a new one. Very bad. What happens if I just went fast arches here? I wonder. Jordan, man. Oh, another hit for free. Big yikes, yikes, Jordy. I almost took a lot of extra hits now. Falling off. Oh. oh, what a waste. I feel like I'm eating too many hits that I should not be eating. Oh, that's a yikes. Oh, that's a mega yikes. That's also a mega yikes.
Almost nice. Biggest issue right now is that he has sort of safe eco. I don't really. But he has working eco. That is the right thing. Guess we both took damage though. Maybe we can transition this into a castle now. Ah, he has a lot of spears. Guess it's cast later for him as well. Next. Ooh. I'm not sure if that's something he should be doing. Ah, scout, you're not supposed to fight there. I'm a little bit worried though that his scouts are out on the map. Is that villager going? It's not all good here. So he's going full spears. Oh, he's going Kalachis, I believe. Okay, I would say that worked out pretty well. Just can't have him found, find our villagers out and about. As long as I can still hunt, kind of aggressively, I'm still very happy with my position. Also, it's very positive that he's not cast late yet. As I said. He has something here. You building a TC? He wants to. I will have plus two armor. And he sent his couches forward.
Ooh, that's a yikes for him. Yep, that's gonna hurt. Just focus the army, not the villagers. Build the army. Don't care about villagers. Build the army. GG. Alright. Obviously, every time we play against teammates, mixed feelings. I don't like that he lost 3-0, but obviously I'm very happy that I won 3-0. He got a bit greedy moving out with his Cowatchers. I mean, his equal looks in shambles, right? That's the only good income. But we have two TCs already. I'm heavy on stone already. I wanted to switch to Mangadai. Just have Camels to control the game and then switch to Mangadai. Yeah, Mongols feel insane here. There's so much food out on the map. Look at the food difference. Almost 1,500 more resources. That's crazy. Um, yeah, so that means we are now in a solid start to the tournament. This is the T90 Titans League that we just played. 3-0 against Jordan and same name. Next round we have Classic Pro. Before we have Miguel. And then last round against Tout. Ay, ay, ay. Um, Jordan is 0-2 now. Oof. Jordan has to step. Jordan has to win like... He has to win at least the next three series. Me beating Classic Pro as well would be a help to Jordan. Essentially, what I'm aiming for now is to beat everyone to help Jordan and Doubt. Um, but yeah, that's uh, it for the second match of my United Titans League. Next up is Classic Pro.